It caught our eye today when a major medical journal reported a remarkable advance in merging man and machine. Dr. John LaPook has a look at a new prosthetic leg that is controlled by the wearer's mind. Four years ago, Zach Vauder lost his right lower leg in a motorcycle accident. After years in a regular prosthetic leg, he's been testing the first one controlled by brainwaves. I seamlessly walk up to a set of stairs and just go up foot over foot up the stairs like you do. Whereas with my normal prosthetic, I kind of have to drag it behind me as I go up the stairs. In today's New England Journal of Medicine, researchers described how it works. When a person thinks about moving, a signal is sent from the brain down through the spinal cord. These impulses control the muscles. After an amputation, the muscles are no longer there, but the nerves are. Zach underwent surgery to move these nerves to his hamstrings. Sensors relay these nerve signals to a computer in the leg, which instructs the knee and ankle how to move. And the simplest way to explain it is we've rewired him. And now bring it back. Researcher Levi Hargrove and a team at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago engineered the device. So you just think about moving along. The device pushes you along, pushes you upstairs, helps control you when you walk downstairs, and it does everything in a seamless manner. It really blew my mind the first time that we did that. It was a, a pretty amazing experience because I hadn't moved my ankle in a way that I could see for two years or whatever it was. The Army funded this research, hoping to improve the lives of the more than 1,200 soldiers and approximately 1 million Americans who have lower leg amputations. We're really trying to make these advanced devices uh, that will allow them to get back to active duty or later in life allow them to um, move around their home and remain independent longer. That's one of the primary goals of this research.